The stickiness of a game rests largely on your very first impression. Most players know within the first hour whether or not they are diving into something new and fresh, a retread full of cliches and common genre tropes, or just a plain lemon. Unfortunately, Neo Popcorn Corp's 3000th duel is a slow burn that takes far too long to catch fire. Now don't get me wrong, there are redeeming qualities to this game. They simply needed to be presented earlier and explained more clearly. 3000th Duel is a two and a half dimension action platformer heavily influenced by Dark Souls and the long shadow of Nintendo supported Metroidvanias. You play as a faceless and nameless hero who wakes up with no memory of who you are or how you got there. With only a sword, you set out on a quest to understand your past, explore a variety of environments, defeat monsters and take on challenging bosses. Like Dark Souls, 3000th Duel is punishing and unforgiving. You are thrust into a dark world where the monsters and bosses you encounter deal significant damage. Replenishing your health is difficult, navigating the growing Metroid-like map is tricky, and enduring long gaps without save points leaves you vulnerable to getting burned. The game allows you to equip different weapons, magic spells called occults, and items that heal, buff, or provide you passive abilities. There are no shields or parrying capabilities, but you do possess a dash that dodges enemy attacks. Weapons come in sword, axe, and spear varieties of which you can carry two. Each type has strengths, weaknesses, and fighting styles. For instance, the axe is heavy and takes more time to execute your swing, but if you connect, you deal more damage. Occults are ranged attacks, or spells, that are limited in number, but they do help in zoning out larger monsters. Two of the more frustrating aspects of 3000th Duel were its platforming and the range of your hero's attacks. Your movements never feel responsive enough. When jumping from platform to platform, your hero falls too quickly, and their movement is rigid and angular. To attack enemies flying above you or standing on platforms, you have to try and get as parallel to them as possible. A full 180 degrees of attack is lacking outside of your special or charged attacks. I would have liked to see more attention paid to the overall physics of this game. 3000 Fools extensive skill tree and RPG style leveling system is its strength. When you defeat monsters you collect karma, which can be used to grow your vitality, strength, mind, and activity attributes. When you die you lose all of your karma but have the chance to regain a portion of it at the place where you perished by destroying a floating purple orb that contains your karma remnants. Each new capability you enhance grants you seal breaker stones that can be used to unlock new skills in your tree. These include the ability to carry different weapons, charge your attacks, and increase your defenses and attack damage. The overall design of this system was thoughtful and different from other games in this category. Boss fights are difficult, unique, and require patience. There's always a pattern to their madness, but little wrinkles save them from monotony. Early in the game you encounter a few really cool bosses in the giant spider and skeleton knight. In both cases their layers are claustrophobic, forcing you to make good use of your dash and taking any damage results in massive losses in health. The music, sound design, and art style in 3000th Duel were adequate at best. Your hero's design is less impressive than the monsters and bosses you battle, and with a thin and at times forgettable story, I found myself not caring much about the character. I did on the other hand enjoy the variety of environments you visit and some of the piano tunes that play over your attack sequences. I won't be returning to 3000th Duel anytime soon. It's slow to start, the platforming is mediocre, and it does not sound or look the greatest. The game does offer a great skill tree, metroidvania style RPG elements, and challenging boss fights that left you feeling pretty accomplished. Ultimately, 3000th Duel is not a steep investment at $14.99, so if you want to give it a shot, you won't feel like you got burned.